Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing? Uh, Rudolanel here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials. And uh, keep in mind, I have gone ahead and changed uh, from the last video. Shopping example has been removed. It's just plain old shopping. And we're using, uh, we're actually just going to read the zip archive that we created a while back. So, in this video, I want to show you guys uh, the get info function, and I want to tell you all about the zip info objects that are part of the zip file module. So, okay, let's get things started, and I, I really just want to go ahead and uh, introduce the get info object to you firsthand. But the zip info, uh, I should say function, sorry. So, zip archive, uh, that object, because we know it's a zip file object, does have this function called get info. And get info will take uh, a file name that's part of the archive and actually uh, return the zip info object. So uh, let's let's check this out. We know that there are some things in shopping.zip file, because let's say we just downloaded this zip file. We don't know exactly what's in it, so we want to know what's in it. Now, you guys already know how to figure out what's in here, remember. We can go ahead and print out ziparchive.namelist. If I run this, we got eggs, we got Tonka trucks, blah, blah, blah. And uh, let's say virgins. Let's, let's get some of those guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just like to pick on those. I don't know. So, now we can actually get info of that name. And we know virgins.txt is in there. So, if I actually print out what that returns, it, we know that it's a zip file object. Also, keep in mind, we did have that, um, that function called uh, uh, info list. info list. If I run that, it's the list of all of these zip file objects. And they're all different objects representative of each name that's actually in the list. So I'm sure you guys remember if we were to run zip archive dot name list, virgins would be uh, one of these. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one. Actually, it looks like it's the second to last one. So let's say this is uh, pumpkins and this is virgins. We actually know that info list, and we can index with um, minus two, that's going to be the virgins one because we know that, yeah, that's it right there. And you see they have the same memory address because they are the same object. Okay, cool. That's enough of me blabbering out. Let's actually take a look at what we can do with the uh, zip info object. Let's say zip info can equal that thing and let's say zip info let's return the file name now actually it doesn't take an underscore it should just return the file name virgins.txt and we can look at the documentation here and we can see all of the other stuff that it does if we go down to the zip info objects, we know there's the file name. We just took a look at that. And we can look at the date time, the time and date of the last modification to the archive member. That's a tuple of six values. Let's take a look at that. If I run this, you can see there's the year, there's all this information of the day, the time, blah, blah, blah. That's really convenient. Uh, we know the compression type. We can actually set up a comment for that individual archive member. We can see what kind of system created the zip archive, what version of the program, blah, blah, blah. And um, attributes, compression size, and the file size. So these are just variables. But you can manipulate them, you can read them, and you can do some cool things with them. And they go along with any zip info object that you can receive from indexing through the name list or actually retrieving through the get info object, get info function, sorry. So, you have a lot of cool options here. Uh, zip info objects are great, they're cool to use and fun to work with. But uh, yeah, that's all that I want to introduce to you for this video. I want to do I want to introduce in this video whatever. I give up. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.